Hey guys, alright, this is a quick video from Bassist on how to install cPanel. Um, if you want to install cPanel, you need a VPS or a dedicated server. Uh, I am using CentOS, so this tutorial is basically will only be valid for people using CentOS or Red Hat. If you are using a VPS, I recommend that you have at least 768 MB RAM but you will need on the minimum side only 512 MB but I recommend 768 MB RAM I will be running this on a BASOS VPS my VPS will be using 1 GB RAM alright before I go ahead start the installation process uh, I want to let you guys know that you can find all I have uh, typed a little blog post you can find a link to the blog post below on the link. Go ahead click on it. It's you can just copy paste the command lines. So if you want to just be lazy, I recommend doing that. So go ahead log into root using SSH and type in your password, login. Let me see if it'll let me log in. Alright. The first thing you want to do is disable SE Linux. So to do that type in these two lines of command. Make sure you hit enter after the command line uh, now SE Linux is disabled now you want to install cPanel so open the directory home and there you can see Basso's logo uh, go ahead fetch the latest installation file from cPanel and after you have done that you want to go ahead and install it so this is running right now it should take anywhere depending on if you're using a VPS or a dedicated server this should take anywhere between 20 minutes to 70 minutes so I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video right now and I'll go ahead and turn it on I guess whenever the installation is complete to let you guys know. Alright, cPanel is done installation now. So, in this case, cPanel finished installing in 53 minutes, which is really good for a VPS. So, after you're done installing uh, cPanel, simply open a new tab for my or open your browser and type in your IP address and then type in 2086 after that with a colon. That's the port number to access cPanel. You should receive a cPanel WHM login. To log into cPanel, use the username root, which is basically what you would use if you were connecting to your VPS and SSH. And same thing like the SSH, use the same password for root. That is not it. Copy it here. There you go. And it should log in. After you're logged in, simply follow the steps and you should have cPanel set up within a minute from now. Thank you for watching this video and hopefully you use web hosting services by BassHost. And if you do not use if you decide not to use us, it's okay. And I hope I have helped you with installing cPanel. Thanks.